Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to get started with GPT script by installing and setting up everything we need and then build a script that's going to generate a title and a thumbnail based on a script for a video. Getting started. So first of all, what is GPT script? GPT script is sort of like a natural programming language where you can make or use tools to do a lot of awesome things. For example, using the OpenAI API to understand what the text is all about and then generate an image based on this. Instead of explaining too much here, you can read the official blog post on acorn.ai with the launch of GPT script. I will add a link to this blog post below. Next up then is to install and set up GPT script. So it's very easy to get GPT script up and running on your own computer. I'm going to go through a short guide, but if you want more details, we have a detailed guide on the GitHub repository site. So to install, you can either use Brew or Curl on macOS and Linux, or on Windows, you can use Scoop Bucket or WinGet. So since I am on a Mac, I'm going to just use the curl command to install this. Then I just need a password. Great. So now I think I can just say GPT script and I will get up this help page with information about what I can do. Next up then is to get an open API key. So you get this by going to platform.openai.com slash API dash keys. So you can either log in here or sign up. I already have an account, so I'll just log in. Yes, I am a human. So to create one, you just click create new secret key. Testing. And then create new secret key. So then I can make a copy of this. by Just clicking there. Done. And if I then go to the terminal, then I can say export open AI underscore API underscore key equals and then paste it there. So now this terminal should be ready to use GPT script with a GPT Turbo 4 model and also for example an image model called DALI 3. On Windows you can run the command that we find on the GitHub page down here. Okay, we can try to run the hello world just to see that everything is working. Input, then I get the output, yes. So here you can see what we got into this script and what we got out of this. So it's just a very simple hello world example. Before you start running this command for GPT script, it might be smart to take a look at the price lists. You can find them on openai.com slash pricing. Using the open API is not free, but you do not pay for more than you actually use. The script we are building in this tutorial will use a language model called GPT-4 Turbo and an image model called DALI-3. Per thumbnail we are generating, we are spending around 12 cents for the image model and a few cents for the rest. This can vary a little bit based on what you are actually sending to the GPT script, how long the texts are, etc. So just take a good look at the price lists to familiarize yourself with them. So the first thing I want to do now is to create a script we can run. The project we are building today will be called GPT YouTube Generator. You can create a folder with this name on your computer or you can call the project a different name if you want to do so. So to do this I just say mkdir GPT YouTube Generator. Then I go into this folder and I can open this in a Visual Studio Code or uh, editor you like. So then in here I can also create a new file called youtube-generator.gpt. So this is how you so this is how you so this is how you name the files for the for GPT script. Then in here I can just say, say hello. GPT script like that. So this is almost as basic as you can make a script. Now we can try running it by going back to the command line and then here just a GPT script and then the name which is YouTube generator GPT. So there were no input now but 
at least we got this because we told the script to say this so this is not everything that will be uh, returned but it actually says this back to us great so let's do some more changes to the script so that we can accept the arguments from the command line first we can just add the description at the top here description colon generates a youtube thumbnail and title based on a script so the description isn't required at this point but it's nice to have this and provide the description of what we want this script to achieve next we add one line here called args and we want to have one argument called script and then we just add a short description to tell the script uh, tell gpt script what this argument is the script to generate title and thumbnail from or for um, and then we can say down here print the script on the screen so this is now the description the arguments and this is sort of the commands we are telling the script to execute so if i now say the same command add dash dash script and then this is the youtube script for my video then we will now see that this is the input so we have one flag or argument called script with this one and the output is just the content of what we had there so if you try to run this without this now you can see that we are getting this could you please provide the script you want to be printed on the screen so it's at least understanding what we want to do with the script you are providing but since we are not providing it it will just fail so now we know a little bit more about how we can accept arguments so let's see what we can do next Next, I want to instruct the script to generate a title based on the input. So let's go back to the script again and do some changes here. Sorry for the confusion, since it's GPT script and a script for YouTube, I might mix this up a few times. But anyways, if we here say uh, do the following steps in ascending order, it might help sometimes to be a little bit specific here uh, when we tell the script GPT script what to do so if you tell it to do this in ascending order it will begin with one come up with an appro appropriate title for the video based on the script and to print the title on the screen Great, we can try to run this again, see what we get based on this short little script. So here we can see that this is the input and the output is exploring the essence of my YouTube video. It sounds like a nice YouTube title. So now we can generate unique titles for our videos. Next up then is to make a tool for making folders in my computer. So I want to make it folder where we can store the template we are going to generate and I want the name of the folder to be the title of the video and to achieve this we need to create a tool which our script can use so we can go back here and then at the bottom here we define the tools we are using so we just add three dashes this is how you separate tools from each other name mkdir for make directory the tools uh, we are need from our system to create folders is a tool called sys.write and we can also make a description creates a folder in our system and we also want an argument so args their path to the folder to be created and um, this sort of just understands now that when we use this tool up in here it understands that the argument we get in there is the directory which is the name we are going to use 
GPT script can't generate folders by itself, so we just need to do some bash scripting down here. Bash and then mkdir-p in case the path isn't complete there. Dollar dir like that. So now it just makes a folder in the folder we are in with the name of the script. Um, we also need to include the tool at the top here. So tools mk there and we also need to include here sys.write which we're going to be just passed into the tool down here so this is sort of all of the tools that our gpt script will use but now instead of printing the title on the screen we can say create the back tick and pass in a variable here video title folder if it does not already exist so we don't override it if it already exists so you can see that this variable doesn't really um, exist anywhere up here but we are just generating it and gpt script will understand this for us so let's try running this again now so it's getting the same input now we get this output here that's okay Okay, I just did a little change to my script because it didn't like that I had the name there here and there there. So I just changed the argument name to title and title, which will sort of just be passed on from there. And I then run the command again, as you can see down here, just run the same command. The output here is a little bit different. And then the output from the script says the folder exploring YouTube, a comprehensive guide has been created. As you can see here, I have this folder here now. Great. Let me just delete that so we can regenerate this again. Okay, let's kick things up a little bit and make a tool for generating images. Or at least build a tool that uses a library with Dali in the backend for generating images. So add three dashes at the bottom here and set the name thumb-generator. Set which tools we are going to use. For example, here we used this one, but here we're going to use one from GitHub. GitHub.com slash GPT script dash AI slash image dash generation. And which arguments we want to use here. We should also want to use the script here, which comes from up here. The script to generate the thumbnail from. And then down here we just instruct it what to do. We can add this here again and say one generate a YouTube thumbnail based on the script. Only return the URL of the thumbnail. So this script here can give us a URL if you specify it down here. And then we will get this back and then up here we just need to include one more tool to actually be able to download this sys.download and we need to include this thumb generator up here as well then i want to add or do some changes here so first we are coming up with the title then we create a new folder and three i want to call the thumb dash generator which we have down here to illustrate the script. So I just create an illustration of the script. Then for download the illustration to a file at, use the back ticks again and specify that we want to store this in the folder called video title slash thumb.png png and add the back tick. So I think that should be enough. So we can try to run this again and then add the script. In this video, you will learn how to build a simple blog for a traveling company using Django. That's a very short script, but it should do it. So here you can see that it's calling now the image generation. The prompt is this. The quality is set to HD, which should give us a 20, no, 1024 x 1024 image. 
So now it looks like it's returning the thumbnail URL. The folder should now have been created and now it's trying to download the thumbnail. You can see build a simple travel blog with Django. Great. Sounds like a good title again. And then here you can see they're calling the tool download to download this. Set the name to be thumb.png and then the illustration has been downloaded. Let's go and see it. That looks good. It doesn't have the form of a YouTube thumbnail, but at least it's a very good beginning. So since this is squared, I have to do some changes. So let's go back to the script and do a few changes here. So down um, here, we can add a new step here. I will come up with a background color to represent the script. This color should be used as the background of the thumbnail. And then um, we can redo this a little bit. Think of a good prompt. So a prompt is sort of just a compromised version of the text or the script to generate an image to represent the script. Make sure to include the uh, video dash title of the video as text in the image. So now we will get the text of the title there. Just set it to step two. Step three use the background color maybe add this in curly braces just to be very specific to make sure the edges of the thumbnail fades out sort of like you have something in the middle and it fades out to a color um, here where we specify this we can also say that um, the thumbnail should be 1792x1024 which is a good size for a YouTube thumbnail and only return the URL of the image or illustration that we created. So you can save this now, try to run it. Um, let's just delete this old one. So now it's going through the same procedure as earlier. So you can see what the prompt it's generated for us to use a digital illustration of a laptop displaying a blog page with very beautiful travel destinations and a few more things like that. So hopefully this text should also be showing somewhere on the image. Now it's downloading the image again. Great. Okay, so in the finder we can open here. Then we have the thumb. There you can see this looks like a very good thumbnail. So we have the blog page we are building here, which fades out to a nice background. So this looks like a clickable image for a tutorial on YouTube. So the result is now much better. You can play around with the information you put in here. You can add more things here. You can probably do some changes here for the title, etc. if you want to do that. So a little catch here is the missing text or the bad text here. Try to run it a few times and see if you get some better results. Um, in general, adding text to images using DALI isn't the best solution. You could write a Python script or similar to add this manually if you wanted to do that. Anyways, that was it for this video. You should now have a basic understanding of what GPT script is and what it can do. And by learning these basics, you have also now built a simple script that can be used for generating images for a YouTube channel, but it can also be used for other things like blog posts and similar.